Hi, in the previous videos, we set up our development environment, created our first Angular application, loaded Bootstrap, and added the navigation bar. As you remember, our navigation bar is responsive, so it collapses on smaller screens and ex it expands on the bigger screens. When we expand our menu, we can see that we have a few links, but it doesn't do anything. The reason for that is that we don't have any pages yet set up, and we also don't have any of those links set up. Before we start setting up our pages, let me do something with our navigation bar. As you can see, our navigation bar is expanding on larger screens. And it collapses right when we hit this point. I actually wanted to collapse at a later point somewhere right about here so to do it let's go to our documentation and look at this property navbar expand large if we scroll all the way to the top we can see that here we can set up different sizes for the screen right now on our application we have the large size and it means that if the size screen is large xl or 2xl in size the menu is not going to be collapsed on the smaller screens it's going to be collapsed so instead of large, let's change it to small. Let me go back to our application. And here in our app component HTML file, this property is set to large. Let's change it to small. I'm going to save Control S. And let's see what happened to our application. As you can see now at this size, it's still not collapsed. If I start moving to the right, here, when it reaches to this point, it's collapsed now. Now it's going to be a little bit easier to see all menu items. Let's adjust them. Let me collapse our file explorer. And we're going to change our links here. We will keep home the same, but we will change features to context. And we will change pricing to about. We don't really need the last link, so let's just remove it. Delete. Let me save it. Control S. As you can see, our menu changed. And let's change this navbar word to something more meaningful. Control S. Our menu is ready, but of course, if we click on these links, nothing is happening. Let's create those pages and let's talk how routing works in Angular. As you remember, we placed all of our code for our menu in this app component HTML file. It's okay to do it if you just have one page that you're going to be displaying to the user. But if you start using multiple pages, you need to place every page or component in a separate file. This app component HTML file is the file where we assemble it. Inside this file, we have different tags representing components. We also have a special Angular tag, router outlet. So this tag router outlet is our placeholder for all those components that represent certain pages that we are about to create. And now let's create a component for navbar and components for our pages. To create our components, let's stop our application. I'm going to press Ctrl C. And inside this folder, make sure you're inside this folder so you have this first project. I'm going to type ng generate component navbar. I'm going to press enter. It takes a few seconds and Angular CLI creates four files for you. Let's look at them. A separate folder is created for this component. Inside, as you can see, we have four files. One is our template. And it's our HTML file. Inside there's only one paragraph tag and it says navbar works. We also have our CSS file. And as you can see, just empty file. Navbar component TS is our TypeScript file. This navbar component spec TS is the unit testing file. And for now, we're not going to be touching it. Let's create other components that we need. Here in the terminal, I'm going to press arrow up to get to the last command and instead of navbar i'm gonna type home press enter 
as you can see another folder home was created i'm going to press arrow up again and change home to contacts press enter and one more time i'm gonna press arrow up key and change contacts to about now we have four folders and in each folder we have four files representing each component let's start with our navigation bar and move that code that we placed inside our app component html file inside our nav bar so let's go here press ctrl a select everything ctrl x remove everything and i'm going inside this navbar folder double click on this navbar component html remove this and i'm gonna press ctrl v to paste all code we grabbed from the other file i'm gonna press ctrl s to save it now i'm going to this navbar component ts to see the name of our tag so this component is represented by this selector let's place it inside our app component html file let's save it Control s and let's go to our application as you can see it looks like it's broken the reason for that that we stopped our application but we never restarted it let me type ng serve press enter our application successfully compiled and let's look at our app again as you can see everything is here let me make it a little smaller to make sure that our menu is working next step let's set up our routing for our pages as you remember when we create our application angular cli asks us a question would you like to add angular routing and we said yes since we said yes angular cli created this file app routing module ts and it also created the reference of that file inside this app module ts file right here in this file we register all our components and services to make sure that it's available to the whole application once this file was created we can start configuring our routes if you want to know more about this file and how it works you can google angular routing and click on the very first link that is going to show up and here you can find all related information let's go back to our application our routes are represented by javascript objects let's make some space curly braces and the first property of the object will be path in single quotes just put the word that you're going to type after our main url the second parameter will be the name of the component let's put comma at the end and create another object This one is for our context component. Another comma, and we'll create one more route. This one is for our about component. Let's save it, and let's go to our navbar component. Here, inside our links, we need to replace this href attribute into a special Angular attribute router link. Inside the quotation marks, we're going to put slash and the path to our route. We'll do the same thing for our about component and the same for our home component. We also need to scroll up and change it right here. Let's save it and see what happens. Control S. We also need to compile our application. Let's go to our application and see if it works. As you can see, when we are clicking on our links, our URL is changing. But we can't see anything here yet. Let's look at our routing slide. As you remember, we need to play this special tag 
router outlet to our app component HTML. And this is, will be our placeholder for all those pages. Let's go back to VS Code. Go to our app component HTML file. And here we're going to place our tag. Let's save it, Control S. Go back to our application. And as you can see, our routing now works. Let's adjust our styling so our about works is a little bit to the right. And the way we can do it, we can play this tag inside a div with the class container. Let's cut it out, control X and place it in here. I'm going to save it. Let's go back to our application. And as you can see, our styling is adjusted. We need to do a couple more things before we're done. And one of the things, let's go back to our routes and add one more route. And it's going to be a duplicate of our home component. Here, instead of home, we're going to have just an empty string. And the reason for that, we want our home component is displayed even if we don't have anything in our URL after the backslash. Let me save it. And let me go back to the application. And here, if we don't put anything behind this main URL, it's still going to go to our home component. Another thing that we need to adjust is the highlighting of those links when they're active. Let's go back to our application, to our navbar component. And here, to every link, we're going to add another attribute, route the link active, and in quotation marks, we're going to put active. So let me copy and paste it to other links too. Let's save it, control S and see what happens. And as you can see, our links are highlighted when we click on them. I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.